How do you feel the librettists of a new opera should be credited? Librettists should absolutely be credited. I would say that Verdi's librettists should be credited, and Puccini's and Handel's. Uh, I think that modern opera, there's absolutely no excuse. Credit the librettist. Credit the librettist. Credit the librettist. Why is it important to credit opera librettists properly? I really believe passionately a strong libretto is the basis of a strong opera. In the world of opera, and I think particularly in the world of contemporary opera, where there is a stronger emphasis on the concept, on the structure, on the story, um, the librettist is key to that piece of work functioning, working, being successful or not. So to ignore them, which has been the unfortunate tradition in opera for hundreds of years, is not only unfair, it's unrealistic. The writers have to understand what their rights are, and I think that so many librettists are very timid and reluctant to assert their, their presence in the room, and I think the more and more that we do that, the more and more we will be rewarded. That's what opera is, is this, I mean, the word itself means the coming together of different forces and, and these imaginations joining and really forming one output. The reason why librettists and composers should be equally uh, credited is because it's a marriage. It is the, the um, product of two spirits and two minds and two hearts. A well-informed libretto, I just can't imagine writing music without one. And the idea of the duality of that should be reflected in the way that it's publicized, the way that it's credited, the way that it's discussed. I actually think it's good for audiences too, because nowadays new operas are actually selling pretty well. And for an audience to know that who the who the author is, um, and it might be because, you know, playwrights are doing it increasingly, it might be a name that they even recognize. I get angry when I see that a librettist I work with is omitted from a program or a poster or a tweet or anything. There's just, there, I don't understand how, how it can happen because it seems so easy to include. It's four words, libretto by, and then a first name and then a last name. I don't think that we should think of the composer and librettist as being separate individuals. Rather, uh, borrowing from the tradition of music theater, it's a team. I think it's important so the librettists don't form violent revolutionary spin-offs that close down public thoroughfares and hijack the normal progress of a civilization. What is the correct billing for a new opera? How do composers and librettists collaborate? I would write the libretto and then Doug would compose and then I would hear what he'd composed and I'd go, oh, then I actually in this next part should do this because I see now repeating the same line, for instance, works better to investigate it musically than having every line be a new line. I mean, language determines so many things. The texture of language will determine whether something's an aria or something's a recitative, or something, uh, if it's in the form of prose, it, it leads you in one musical direction. If it's rhymes, it's another musical direction. And so that, that, that really tells you a lot in terms of what the form is going to be, also, also how things recur, uh, how, how uh, and, and, and some of the initial structural ideas. I mean, all that is not possible without the, having the libretto. And, I, and, and often, I think I've I've, we've worked through having a, almost a complete libretto before I even start putting a note to, to paper. We work very closely at the beginning of the work and all through the work. Um, we are equal partners. I think a composer and a uh, libretto should be joined at the hip through opening night. I believe that I can't imagine working any other way. Clearly what the, what the librettist does has a huge effect on what the composer is doing because the, the composer is setting those words. We spend a lot of time going back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. The back and the forth. There's always back and forth. There's back and forth with everyone. How should a new opera premiere be announced?
How should librettists be credited? Dare I say equally, 50-50. I think it's very, very important that librettists are credited um, equally with composers. And that really means uh, very specifically that it's the same prominence, the same size if it appears on a program. And if it appears in marketing, it also appears the same size, uh, the same prominence as the composer. A lot of what is attracting the new audience um, are the stories. It's not just the music. There's this terrible habit. Um, sometimes we refer to Falstaff as an opera by Verdi, not Verdi and Boito. Uh, and that we, we can't fall back on those, those habits strictly because they're habits. We, we re-examine parts of the industry that are habitual and precedential and legacy all the time. Um, so why not credit as a part of that? Well, I feel they should be credited as God's ally. How should the press release read? How does giving proper credit benefit audiences and opera companies? The form will not live on if it doesn't attract brilliant writers to work with composers because the spine of an opera is the libretto. I really hope that it, uh, that as we're moving toward parody or as we're moving towards the librettist contribution being, um, being recognized as integral, um, that it will become just commonplace for the composer and the librettist to be sort of married on the poster. Like any author, I think recognizing an author's name is so important to the consumer. We actually did some research about what motivates people to attend an opera. You know, is it the star singer? Is it the director? The number one driver behind deciding to go to an opera is if the story appeals to them. Whether it's a story they know or whether it's a new story, it's about story. And you don't have a story without a librettist. We have seen more consistent and equitable credit happening for the composer and the librettist as the creators of the work. We continue to endorse that in what we do in how we publish, promote, and talk about the works that are being done at our member companies at Opera America. What is it about dramatically and getting back to the art of opera, why it reaches something in us that a, a play can't maybe. And uh, I, I think there's going to be a resurgence of American opera. I feel, I feel more optimistic about it. Composers and librettists are telling stories or presenting worlds together hand in hand. If one of them is being shoved off the vessel to sink out of sight once the destination is near, then the dead, drowned souls of all those librettists will rise up and shut down the government to get their way. Credit the librettist. Credit the librettist. Credit the librettist. And I think this is what happens with operas. I'm in the middle of one. I just want to tear my hair out, which is why I'm wearing a hat.